Welcome to Moccasin Creek in Elkton, Florida. This is Florida Bear Disc Golf, and I am Jason. We're here on hole one. Going to start with a small little forehand. And I just burned that one straight into the ground. It's kind of quiet. There's no audio, really. I forgot to turn the microphone on for the camera. I'm going to do a little backhand, try to do a half bid. Having a hard time putting any weight on that right foot. Nursing an ankle injury. Shouldn't even be playing. Kind of stupid. But, you know, I'm going to get out here and get some. Alright, that's a par for hole one. Moving on to hole two. A short little hole. We are playing short tee pads to white baskets. Throwing a Mako 3. Nice, gentle little backhand approach. Floating right on in there. There it is. That should be an easy tap in. And moving on to hole 3. Hole 3 is another little short. Pin placement, uh, low ceiling, but it's all flat. The forehand, the destroyer comes out clean, and a few paces away from the basket should should not be a problem. And there it is, another two. Pick up that disc, boy. Don't you hobble around like that. Alright. This is usually an easy hyzer. But I take the more difficult. And hyzer line to the right of that tree. Just throw a small little turnover. And there it is. And it doesn't leave me with much of a putt. It's pretty simple. Alright. Four, three down through four. Moving on to hole five. This one has a mando on the left. Those double trees. But it's a pretty straightforward shot. Just a little turnover with another Mako 3. Right down the alley. And that's an easy putt. Here we go. Don't miss it. You will be embarrassed. Don't miss it. And, oh, no, it's in. Meh. Come on, now hurry up. Stop goofing off. Let's go, let's go. All right, moving on to hole six. Remember, we're playing into the white, so it's just that's the uh, basket on the left. The basket on the right is yellow. And not my intended target. And I throw straight at it. Uh, then here we are. Walking over to the yellow basket. Because I missed. We're going to see if we can make this long putt. Here we go. Come on. Come on. Come on, Nico. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, it's up. It's up. It's in. Yay. Come on now. Hurry up. Let's go. All right. Hole seven. The white basket is out in the open, slightly elevated. And the, the yellow basket is down at the end of the fence line, tucked into the trees. That's not where I'm throwing to, but that's where I threw anyway. And I caught the trees on the right and landed in the oh, fairway. And the audio's back on. I found. I remembered to turn it on and fixed it. But this is the longest putt I've had to deal with today. There it is. And it's a miss. It's just short. This is little tap in three. Moving on. I'm still five down through seven. 
Moving on to hole 8. This is a 406 feet. It's one of the few holes that I actually remember the distance to. Here we go. You can actually hear that one come out. Not good. Not a good shot. Right. A little forehand. We got to get up there. Comes out clean. Right where I was aiming. But it skips just a scotch long. Pick it up. Pick it up. Come on. Alright. It looks much farther than it actually is. So, come on. Okay. Oh no, he misses it. Oh, so embarrassing. So embarrassing. He walked over there and assaulted the basket because that's going to help you make the next series of putts, you know. All right. Hold nine. These baskets are relatively close together also. And the white basket is on the right. And I throw it to the yellow basket on the left. And so there's the yellow basket right there to my left. The white basket is beyond the palm meadows that I'm trying to putt over. And a slight ante putt. But, nope, I missed my line, and we're going to try to make a three. It should be an easy putt. See, we're not that far from the basket, and we chain out right because we suck. Don't look back at the camera like it's going to help you. Come on, make this putt. Come on, come on. There you go. Alright, moving on to hole 10. Rock X3, Dojo Design, Dial. Nope, oh, I don't know what he said there, but it wasn't very smart. He said it was a Innova Rock X3 with a Dojo Designs die. Look Dojo Designs up on the internet. And this should be an easy tap in for birdie. Bang. So back to five down. Here I want I was thinking forehand. The forehand is a smarter play. But then I decided to take this overstable Rock X3 and try to hyzer it to the right. And throw it straight into the palmettos. So now I'm going to try to do a little patent pending. And take a light run at this basket. I'm actually comfortable doing this. And I'm just short of throwing it in. Gravy. Yep, gravy. The best the disc did travel long on the basket, but it, it hyzered in just short. And it's not a it's not a very long putt, about 15 feet, so it was easy. Moving on to hole 12, the final hole of the front. It's a short little hole. It's an easy ace run. You got a lot of backdrop to catch your disc and some overhead. And that's exactly what I throw it into. High, right into the trees, right above the basket. And it falls down just past the basket. I'm in the bushes. I'm looking at a turbo line because I have to throw over the palm palmettos and the bushes. That's what I decided to do. And that's a two. Yay. And yeah, that concludes the front 12 here at Moccasin Creek. Thank you for watching. Nothing else.
Matter. Than 